long ago. As many as ten different subspecies of humans once shared our planet. From Neanderthals to the Denisovans to the Homo erectus species and the more recently discovered Red Deer Cave People. Today, only Homo sapiens, or what we call modern man, inhabit the Earth. There are theories as to why our species is the only one that survived. Somehow over 1.5 million years, the course of evolution has instilled upon us an extra six years between infancy to pre-adolescence. Many anthropologists believe that this extended period, or what we call childhood, is what changed everything. This prolonged childhood came about from a very interesting and extraordinary evolutionary phenomenon known as Neotony. Neotony originates from the two Greek words, neos, meaning young, and tienen, meaning to extend. The adjective is either neotenic or neotenous. By some means, we evolved neotony so that we could retain our youthful traits and extend our childhood further into life. We know that compared to any other mammal and primate, we are born into this world considerably more helpless and less developed. However, this is precisely what allows our brain and neural networks to remain open, flexible, and adaptable. Our neural networks remain open so that we can absorb more from our environment. In addition, our prefrontal cortex continues to develop into early adulthood. Our longer maturation stage enables us to have higher cognitive abilities such as complex reasoning, communication, and social interaction. Interestingly, the concept of neotony was around even before Charles Darwin's theory of natural selection in relation to evolution. Anthropologists theorize that there has been a gradual increase in neotony from older archaic humans to modern day humans. Evolution will eliminate traits that are not advantageous to us and select traits that bestow us competitive advantage. Characteristics of neotony are playfulness, curiosity, creativity, and adaptability. If we look specifically at play, we will find that it is a very important neotenic trait for humans, as well as many other mammals. Scientists believe that evolution has hardwired us for play because it activates the whole neocortex, promoting physical and cognitive development. Studies have shown that rats that play elicit changes in the areas of the brain used for thinking and processing social interactions. Bears that play survive longer. Kittens that are deprived of play are unable to interact socially. Studies have shown that play enhances our social skills and that the disruption of neotenic development may lead to a loss of social cognition. Neotony not only has an impact on our behavior, but it also affects our appearance. This process is so apparent in humans that we have been called the Neotenous Clan of Apes. Neotenic traits are demonstrated by characteristic features of our head, like a more globular skull, larger brain case, and reduction of the brow ridges. Interestingly, physical characteristics of neoteny are more apparent in women. Contrary to the effects of testosterone on a man's facial structure, the effects of estrogen on a woman's face aid in maintaining a childlike and youthful facial appearance during puberty, which continue into adulthood. Between the sexes, women generally have higher cheekbones, less bony brow ridges, smaller jaws, smaller frames, higher pitched voices, and are less hairy. All of these characteristics exemplify youth.
men and women find neotenic features to be attractive in women. Studies show that women who look more nyatness are rated as more attractive. Subconsciously, women enhance neotenic features when they remove body hair. For example, shaving their legs and underarms, and more notably, when they apply makeup. Women reportedly spend over 426 billion a year on beauty products. From foundation, BB creams, and tinted moisturizers. All of these aid in creating a more youthful appearance by evening out the skin tone, decreasing wrinkles, uneven pigmentation, redness, and sun damage. Makeup application serves to give the impression of healthier looking skin and increased facial symmetry. Using blush enhances women's cheekbones, which are, in most cases, naturally higher than males. Applying blush and contouring also serve to intensify cheekbones, which become more prominent during puberty and are a sign a woman is capable of reproduction. Estrogen, which is highest during ovulation, caused the blood vessels in the face to dilate, which increase facial coloration. A woman's lips are visible indicators of youth and fertility. Our lips are fullest in youth and get smaller with age. They develop in puberty and signify high estrogen levels, serving as a subconscious signal that a woman is healthy and fertile. Using lipstick serves to enlarge and highlight the lips. It also works to enhance the natural rosy color of lips. Eye makeup, like eyeliner, eyeshadow, and mascara, serve to make the eyes appear larger and more feminine, a neotenic facial characteristic because it's associated with youth. Highlighting the eyes with eye makeup can also de-emphasize the chin which results in a more feminine face and look.